So I would move on to the next talk in which uh, I would give you, for those of you that are not familiar with MATLAB and SPM, just a brief overview of how things work, where to find things. And after that, we will have Claire showing, um, making a, a live demonstration of how to practically compute SUV. So first of all, when it comes to MATLAB, so I hope every one of you could download and install MATLAB, at least the trial version. Um, as I said in the email, it would be better to have a recent version of MATLAB, uh, but that is necessarily necessary only for, the, for running the script of the automated analysis that you will see at the very end of the workshop. Uh, if you now have an, a not so recent uh, version of MATLAB, you can still do most of the things that you will see uh, now. But anyway, irrespective of the version of MATLAB, um, MATLAB is quite, the, the, the window will look exactly the same, more or less. So um, you have on the left, uh, the current folder. So here is where uh, you are now. So you can see uh, all the folders on the computer here. I'm in a desktop and I, for example, want to go into the FTG Pet Workshop folder. I just double click and I'm there and I can navigate, go back, go up, uh, quite easily as in a normal uh, computer. So that's that's quite easy to, to do. And it is important to uh, change current folder um, because if you want to call a function and we will call the script later, you want to be in the folder where the function is. So if you want to call this function, you have to be in this folder. And this has to be done unless the, full, the, the function is added to the, the path of MATLAB. Uh, so what does it mean? You actually already added SPM to the MATLAB path, but if you haven't done that, I can show you now. So basically, if you have a SPM in a folder on your computer and you want MATLAB to find SPM, uh, you just do click on set path, and then look for SPM. In my case, it's already here. Otherwise you look for it, clicking on add with subfolder. Uh, you just go uh, in where, S where is SPM on your computer and then, uh, yes, sorry, it's in French, but yeah, uh, se uh, select folder. And then it is selected, it is added and you save and now uh, and close. And now MATLAB knows where to find SPM. So essentially if you want to, run a certain function or use a certain toolbox, either you go into the folder of the toolbox here on the left, or you add it to the MATLAB path and, the, and it will work. Uh, how now, okay, so this is the, the kind of a setup. How to call a function, for example, let's say I want to call SPM pet, because we are working on the part of SPM, of course, that deals with pet. I just type here in the command window, SPM pet, and then click enter. And MATLAB will look into the path looking for SPM and SPM will open. There is also another part of the, uh, the window that is the workspace. And here uh, we don't really care about it actually, but here is just where you will find uh, any variables you are working on right now. So you will see things popping up right now, you don't care. What you really care about is the command window and the folder. So that's all you need to know for this workshop. So let's say that now you typed SPM pet, SPM is opened and SPM is made of these three windows. You will actually really work first of all on this one on the left. So uh, what you will see with Claire, for example, the first thing she will use is this DICOM import function. And we will use other utilities throughout the workshop. So if you want to import DICOMs and Claire will explain what it is in a second, you just click on it. And this is the kind of interface that we have. So here is the interface and this is called a batch, an SPM batch. And in the batch, there are some things that are missing and that we have to give to SPM. To, to SPM. So for example, here, SPM asks for the DICOM files. Um, so we click on DICOM files, we click then on specify and then this window open and we can specify the files. Uh, but what I want to show you is how to really use this, this kind of interface. So whatever command you will click on, you will always have to do specify and then to be able to navigate here. And here you have uh, quite a few things. 
here in there, you can see your current folder. So this is the folder that you have set up here on the left in the current folder part of your window. Uh, then here you see the folder that is the, the parent folder. So what, what uh, uh, um, you, you can select the various parent folders from the uh, compared to the folder we are now. And here is the previous folder. So this is very useful because you can uh, move around the folders you have selected uh, just uh, before. So it's kind of a, let's say, um, a history of all the folders selected, so it's easy to move around like this. And there is also, uh, here you will always find the SPM 12 folder that is useful because sometimes you want to get some masks, some files from the SPM folder, and it will be always there in prep. So how do you move around? So the left part of this small window is to move, is to actually move around and select folders. So it's like uh, what you have on your computer. So let's say I want to go uh, up of one folder in the parent directory, I have to click just once, never, never click twice. You have to really inhibit your, perform your, your, uh, your hand, just click once on these two dots. And this allows you to go up of one folder into the desktop folder. So the two dots are to move up while I click again, just once on whatever folder to move inside that folder. So as desktop, FTG pet workshop, uh, I don't know, coffee break, blah, blah, and I just move around. When I want to select something, so when I get into the folder, uh, either if I'm selecting files, I get into the folder, I will see here files, and I just click on them just once. Uh, otherwise, if I want to select a folder, I actually go into the folder and then I click once on this dot. And if I click once, you see here that I have selected something, one folder, and this is the folder I have selected. So the left is to navigate, the right is to select thing. And after you've selected things, you just do done and you can go ahead. And the rest we will see later. This is just to give you a very quick introduction. Um, are there any questions about uh, this? Maybe you are already familiar with this kind of interfaces. 